Welcome friends to the architecture enthusiast and one of the earliest example of the modernist style in the United States, the Carson Peary Scott building in Chicago, Illinois by Louis Sullivan completed in 1899 and again in 1904. At the intersection of State and Madison streets, one building with large glass windows and a rounded corner entryway covered with lavish decoration stands out. In contrast to its relatively plain neighbors, the pedestrian's eye is immediately attracted to the structure's bronze-colored ground floor and broad white facade stretching 12 stories above it. This is Louis Sullivan's Carson Peary Scott Building, a department store constructed in two stages in 1899 and 1903 to 1904. Sullivan's building is an important example of early Chicago skyscraper architecture and can also be seen as a fascinating indicator of the relationship between architecture and commerce. The building is remarkable for its steel frame structure, which allowed a dramatic increase in window area created by bay-wide windows, which in turn allowed for the greatest amount of daylight into the building's interior. This steel frame structure uses the post and lintel technique to provide a strong light and fireproof steel skeleton. The exterior of the building consists of a grid of piers and spandrels that reveals the post and lintel technique that supports the building. The design was the first use of what became known as the Chicago window. At street level, the broad expanses of glass allowed for larger displays of merchandise to outside pedestrian traffic, creating the idea of a sidewalk showcase. In between the windows were bands of terracotta. The design featured bronze-plated, cast-iron ornamental work above the rounded tower. The project also included a fire suppression sprinkler system supplied from a 40-foot water tower on the roof. Sullivan designed the corner entry to be seen from both State and Madison. The attractive ornamentation above the entrance would give the store an elegant and unique persona important to the building's competition with neighboring stores. The building is one of the classic structures of the Chicago stool. The way this technique was used on the lower floors of the building was so elaborate that it used the natural lighting and shadows to seem almost as if it were magically floating above the ground.